So my problem is sometimes this switch gets turned off <laughs> and then my batteries uh, end up discharging and it's terrible. And um, some another thing that happens sometimes is this gets disconnected. Uh, and then the other thing is on the other side of this cable, there's a circuit breaker on the shore power and that sometimes gets disconnected. <laughs> and so my batteries have been getting discharged. So my solution is um, to get away from you know, the reliance on this cord is to get one of these. It's a $40 um, panel, new power panel that I got on Amazon. And I'm going to hook that up to um, some uh, an MPPT controller that's going to charge my battery. So when when this when this cable right here gets disconnected, I'm still going to have power. Okay. So um, wh how am I going to do that? Well, I've got I'm going to put I've got some um, some dual um, flat cable, some boat flat cable some duplex flat cable number 10 and I'm going to uh, connect I put some crimp connectors on it which you there's plenty of videos on YouTube that um, explain how to do that and some heat shrink and then uh, I'm going to just marry these number 10 wires to the wires here on the new power connection but uh, before I do that, before you waste your time doing that, you should probably just hook up a voltmeter to um, the, the new power connectors and make sure that you're uh, reading the correct voltage. So I got this on Amazon. And um, so it says um, basically I'm supposed to get it. Uh, open circuit voltage is 21.6, which I've kind of uh, got some measurement on that one, and it's uh, you can kind of see right there. I'm reading about 20, 21.6 now. I'm not facing the sun, so I'll face it into the sun, and it reads reads a little bit higher, but it's pretty good. It's not super sunny. So the this box here is not waterproof so I'm gonna have to do something about that um, and it's going to try to get this thing open well I'll show you the rest of it later uh, I've got to you know tie a uh, crimp on the connector um, make this box a little more waterproof and merge those two cables together so stand by so I have the box uh, opened up here and um, as you can see there's no diode here which isn't I don't think a big big problem if you're hooking it to a solar charge controller but you can kind of see the strain relief probably isn't great so I'm gonna add a tie wrap to to this here okay and um, the other thing is I wanted to show you um, you need to buy some of these um, MC4 barrel connectors okay um, with and that this is and so you can make yourself some of these um, cables so you have to just make sure your plus and your minus are correct orientation for your solar charge controller um, and so I've had a fair bit of success using this um, crimper uh, and I think I got it on um, Amazon it had some pretty good reviews on it and so you just um, fit those barrel connectors MC4 barrel connectors in this in these jaws and they they work uh, pretty well so again um, so I'm just gonna strip these back and then um, put this on okay and then I'm gonna find some way to um, stain strain relief this 
over here, this wire over here. And then I'm going to use marine silicone around here to um, to seal this box and make sure it's it's watertight. Uh, you know, I've heard some people um, complain that um, that the diode is a is a problem, and people are complaining about that. And this is a you know a forty dollar with tax delivered solar panel, thirty five watts. So it's a pretty good value, and it, it's for my purposes it it works well, and it seems to be pretty well well built. So it's um it's an NPA. 35s-12 um, and I think it's a I think it's a pretty good value uh, for what I'm using it for it's just a backup uh, charger on my so boat. this is probably the most important thing but I'm not going to spend much time on it um, you got to get these kind of butt splice connectors um, they're heat shrink um, adhesive and I got these on GenuineDeals.com. I think I'll give you a link. Um, so you use one of these ratcheting crimpers for this, okay? And um, th I, the article, there's a great article on Marine How to how to make your connectors. It will connections. It'll save you so much time and hassle in making the wrong connection because it's really hard to debug your system. So you're going to have to get these high quality connections, these high quality sh uh, adhesive. I recommend not to get them from <laughs> Amazon. Use a trusted source like a, I think it's Marine Boat Wire or something like that. So you can see here I've, I've uh, crimped, I've basically stripped one okay and now I'm going to strip the other so I've got two and then I'm going to put on this butt butt splice connector and I'm going to crimp it so now I got a problem because I've got this narrow um, connector this narrow wire right here and um, and then I've got a fat wire, number 10 wire. So this thing is probably like a number 18 or something like that, maybe number 20 on the solar panel. So what I need to do is um, figure out how to um, get this small wire here into this into this connector. Uh, this. So I think the thing that um, I'm going to need to do is, or I needed to do is take this, just take a little stub of wire, okay, and then I'm going to um, see how I, I stuffed it into this connector along with the other connector, and then I crimped that side down. So that's what I'm going to do to uh, this here. I'm just going to get another one of these. Uh, here and jam it in there and then I'm going to crimp and then um, then I should should okay, work. Okay, second try. I jammed up a little more wire, curled up a few more wires on the black and uh, that's so the black wire is a little thicker. I doubled it over a little more. Let's see if this thing, I'm going to give it a good crimp. Okay. Okay. And Gonna give it a pull. Oh wow, it pulls. It doesn't come off. Okay. So you always gotta give it a pull because if you don't, it's gonna come off <laughs> some other time when you don't want it to, right? Okay, so I did that I, I got that side and the only thing I have to do is put on these and I'm gonna uh, but first I'm gonna uh, I'll show you the next step in a, in a minute. Here. Now you can kind of see uh, this is where the uh, the uh, connection meets the the panel. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, I tested it already, but um, this was a little loose, so I had to put a tie wrap down there. And this screw, these two screws weren't tight. It somehow worked its way out. So I tightened those. 
And again, I think the thing I'm going to do is uh, just to put some a bead of uh, marine silicone around there just to waterproof the box. Um, so the other thing I got going is um, so I finished the crimp here on this and these two connectors. So I got the here's the panel wire and then I've got number 10 duplex wire right here. Now the other thing I needed to do was put some shrink tubing and then I've got this stuff here that's a kind of a, a it's not split loom but it's a similar uh, split loom it's a sheathing that's pretty tough right so I've been using that so I'm gonna uh, then uh, just take the next step and uh, and shrink and uh, you know just heat shrink all this and, and finish the assembly all right so we kind of see I got a heat shrink gun and apply it to this so this is adhesive line shrink tubing and you can see how it just kind of the adhesive just um, melts around the wire and um, makes a pretty good waterproof bond. Next up we're going to shrink this white uh, sleeve here around the whole mess. Let's see how that turns hey, out. That's what it looks like and um, again I would recommend using a marine grade silicone on it. Okay, now time for the cover. See what happens here. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, I'll slide this on. And got silicone over that. The ends over there got some silicone on them. And then the cable's got some silicone on it. And so I think, I think it's probably fine. So here's the finished product. Uh, so what I decided to do was um, just mount it with, this is just for the winter time or when I'm not using the boat and I'm not using my uh, flexible panels. Um, so this is just for maintenance. Um, it's uh, 35 water um, so I put I was afraid that this is gonna wear a little bit on the Dodger because of the way it's tilted uh, so I ended up putting some um, dual walled um, polycarbonate down uh, so it's not the ideal setup but it, I think it's gonna work I'm gonna probably just cut this down and probably lash this over to this rail somehow to just act as a keeper and then um, you can kind of see what I did there I just um, hooked those hose clamps up and then just tie wrap the to strain relief at this polycarbonate sheet I think is just going to be to um, uh, you know stop um, this from chafing because there's a little bit of chafe point right there um, but that's kind of where I'm at now I'll probably think of something better um, then what I have what I do is I I have um, I have just um, two ch solar charge controllers I'm running off just one of them for the the winter time when I'm not going to be taking trips and I'm just running this this um, wire down through here to the charge controllers um, so that is pretty much the end of my project um, and I'm not going to feel that afraid now of um, you know have my batteries run down over the winter when I'm gone for a little while because um, it seems to put a pretty good charge it was charging at about an amp and a half and there's sun I don't have much sun so I think um, this is a, a pretty good solution I haven't tested the output yet but um, again I'm floating quite a bit so it's kind of hard to tell you know, how efficient this panel is but for $40 it's a pretty good um, solution and I think it's going to 
it's going to withstand the weather a little bit better or probably a lot better than the flexible panels that I, I just want to kind of save for my high wattage flexible panels I just want to save you know for when I'm taking trips.